again everyone. So this is actually how I water my Maxillaria variabilis. I just drench it from the top as much as possible, depending on the weather outside. Let's just say in winter I do it every other day or every third day, and in summer it gets a lot more every day in the morning. I mean, it is soaking wet. So, currently in bloom, every morning I go around and pick out these little old ones and just pull them out because I don't want to attract too many bugs. This plant would be a bug magnet because of all the nooks and crannies. I try to be on top of these blooms here. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> and what you see here are the older growths losing their leaves. Perfectly normal. All these little spots here that you see on there that is hail damage. Look, we had a warm rain, and it, this plant lives outside all year round. We had a warm rain, but I woke up to hail damage, and I had no idea that we had hail. It wasn't forecast. So yeah, it took a little bit of a beating, but it's not so bad. Others are worse. I'll show you some other time. But this is Maxillaria variabilis, and <clears throat> it has tripled in size in two years. It's taken over its pot. This is an orchid top, the large one. And when I do water it, I let it water until the tray is completely full. You can see that I've got lots of little companion plants going on in there. Got the mosses and a maidenhair fern. Can you believe it? <clears throat> this one I actually pull out every once in a while. I pull out all the fronds because it's too big. It's getting huge. And I was actually never successful in growing maidenhair ferns all by themselves. But in here, suddenly, I have this fantastic specimen. And these two seem to get along just fine. Even though I fertilize the maxillaria at 300 ppm because of all the structures that it builds, it needs heavy, heavy feed. As you can see, it's growing absolutely fantastic. I know I may have to divide it or repot it at some point, but I don't know what to do. I don't have, Orchid Top doesn't do bigger pots. And wow, it would be such a shame to take this one apart. I don't know. I love it. It's a monster. So it can take full sun. And sometimes I just leave it out, depending on how busy I am. But it does prefer to be a little bit more shaded in the hot sun. It, uh, the hot time of year, it would prefer to be a little bit more protected. As you can see, the leaves are somewhat pale from last year. So we'll see, I'll find some an area a little bit more compatible. It lives outside in winter as well. There's my five degrees Celsius minimum. It's got no problem with that. And it blooms like there's no tomorrow. So I've heard from the orchid room that hers are fragrant. Trust me to get one that's not. I bought this at my local garden center on the discount table, which was a big surprise. I think they only ever bought one and uh, it was never bought because nobody knew what to do with it. So I saw it without the flowers and it was a like a little tiny plant, you know, normal kind of size. And this is what it's done in two years. I absolutely love it. Very simple. <clears throat> Just sits there and does its thing. And here you can see new growths coming out already. So the blooms come out of all these bracts prior to the new growth shooting out. So that's the new growth coming there already. And it's gonna go nuts once again. So if I say it triples its size, it's going to do that this time again. And then, I don't know, it's just getting huge. <laughs> I would hate to disturb it. 
I find that it is so unruly in a very pretty way, like little fireworks. It's like a firework display and a little yellow pop in there. It's cute. So yeah, the Maxillario Tenufolia um, I thought I had. It's doing the same thing. It, didn't, it hasn't bloomed. I don't think I've got it. But uh, the Variabilis for me has been nothing but an easy grower. And it's doing well with its companion plant. It's stowaway over there. And basically temperatures, five degrees Celsius, all up to the, as much heat as possible. And then uh, water, water, water. Fertilize, fertilize, fertilize. Because basically it needs it. And I have fertilizer in the water every day. Every day. So if you want to, would be interested in something like this, accommodate the space, take reference of its size here, and uh, enjoy growing this species. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.